Greetings, outstanding folks, and welcome back. Joe Van with another uh, instrument demo video. This one that's my second attempt at doing this. I, when I tried to do the unboxing of it, the package was very crudely put together and it was really awkward to go through. Um, most of my instrumental videos I've shown lately have been trumpet, trombone, and related instruments. But I've been guitarist for uh, nearly four, for almost 44 years. And I have several years of experience on bass guitar. My experience on bass guitar, most of them come with four strings. Tuned to E1, A1, D2, and G2. And back about over 30 years ago, I found a need to play notes, notes lower than the E1. On an electric bass, you can get a five string electric bass where the additional strings for a B0, which puts it within a, a major second of the lowest note of a piano. And that really came in handy, and I promised myself never to sell for less than five strings again. The bass I had at the time, I went to six string. Acoustic basses, however, uh, it's rare to find one that's more than standard four strings. And I did have an acoustic bass for a long time, just standard four string, used a few times. And when I moved to this location, I actually sold that particular bass, knowing that I would eventually get a replacement. I went online and actually found, and I think it was through Amazon, it was several months that I've had it where I actually located a five-string acoustic bass. And here it is. The brand is a Tario. Um, it's an acoustic bass. I've got the strap on it. Um, it also has the ability of electronics in it. It has the input jack, so you can hook it up to a sound system. A compartment for a 9-volt battery. And has some controls on it. Um, I haven't really messed with it that much. It will power up and actually has a built in tuner in it. When it comes to five string bass, it does have the low B, so it's like. And one thing I like about being a string instrument, that that low B sounds smooth. That same B on a piano sounds muddy, because uh, on a piano, that same note, all the strings in the piano, that are natural harmonics to that B, will be a, will come out. And uh, so, and that low B, so it's like. And because of five strings, you can do stuff like different octaves, three octaves at once. So like E. Was that sharp? It was E. And the range on this thing. G, 12th fret. Has 22 frets, so, which means that uh, G2, G3, this will actually still go up to an F4, which is pretty high for a bass. Uh, the body construction carbon fiber, which means it's going to be pretty solid. Uh, 
just like most acoustic instruments, the bridge I uses pins to secure the strings. So if you change strings a lot, you can wear things out. But for an acoustic bass, this guy so well. Just a little run through. I uh, wasn't going to do anything special with it, just to show what a, a five string acoustic bass can do. And uh, so, if I'm in a group with, uh, say, if I'm jamming with guys that are on acoustic guitar and they need a bass player, but they don't want an amp, this will certainly get the job done. Uh, and for being as cheap as it was, or made more than likely. Uh, for the, this, I think this acoustic bass is certainly the one I have that application. Will I use it on a regular basis? Probably not. Uh, I do have a full-time job outside of music, so time is going to be an issue. But one of the advantages I have over my electric bass, which is seven strings, is that this thing's a lot lighter, so. With the back issues I've had where I pretty much retired from active work on an electric bass, if I have the urge to do bass stuff again, I can use this. And with electronic sound, I can plug in a sound system and do that equally. But that's a quick rundown. Um, thanks for watching, all the best.